another performer from Detroit was also, like Iggy, doing things a little differently. Lines form on my left and right. Lines form on my face and hands. I'm in the middle without any plans. I'm a boy and I'm a man. I'm 18. I'm a boy and I'm a man. I'm 18 and I don't know what I want. To us, it was a combination of comic books, every RKO horror movie we'd ever seen. We were total students of trivial television. Uh, we never read anything that wasn't a cheap novel, <laughs> you know. I mean, we really, we were really the epitome of the American cultureless society. And all we did was we just, we, we invented this Frankenstein named Alice Cooper that was really a reflection of that. I've gotta get out of the play. I've gotta it with the I think the idea of insulting middle America by changing your name to Alice Cooper and wearing women's clothes and everybody in the band being dead straight. And instead of being dopers, everybody was a, drank beer. We were all American. We were every bit all American. And all we did was we took all the taboos and just put them on the table. We played the Toronto Rock and Roll Revival. It was about 80,000 people outdoors, and we were, nobody had ever heard of us. And we did our normal set. But at the end of our show, we always used to take a pillow, and we'd open it up, and we had CO2 cartridges, and we would blow these feathers all over the audience. And one pillow will pretty much cover Madison Square Garden. And we had about three or four pillows that night. And all the feathers were going, and somebody from the audience threw a chicken on stage. And I picked it up, you know, I figured it was a, it's a bird. You know, I'm from Detroit. I don't know if chicken's got wings, it'll fly. And I threw it back in the audience, figuring it would just fly away. Now it went into the audience and the audience tore it to pieces. I always say that we were the, the, the dagger in the heart of the love generation. You know, we were like the stake right through the heart because we were right at the end of peace and love. And all of a sudden here was this shiny new horrible monster that was really fun to watch. 